was in Nicaragua in the late 80s while I was working there as a volunteer. That's when I first heard the music of Victor Jara. Te recuerdo Amanda, la calle mojada, corriendo a la fábrica donde trabajaba Manuel. Campesino I was working with lent me a tape of some of his songs. Despite the poor quality of the recording, I was spellbound and resolved to find out about the background of the music. De vuelta al trabajo y tú caminando lo ilumina todos. The music introduced me to the dream from a Chile of the 1970s when the new song movement there was part of social and political change. And before it was all tragically cut short with the death of Victor and many others. Some years later, having moved to Mahuntlath in mid Wales, myself and a girlfriend, Polly Henderson, decided with some trepidation to put on an evening of Victor Hara's songs as a fundraiser for the Victor Hara Foundation in Chile. The evening was highly successful. We decided to put on some more evening events, and this led to us organising the first three-day El Sueño Existe Festival in 2005. A reminder of those times, showing that the dream still existed and could thrive in the heart of Wales. Many local people became involved, including Keith Jackson, who had strong links with the Chilean community in the UK through taking Chilean refugees into his home in the 70s. The uh, New Song Movement and uh, Popular Unity had shown how the combination of culture, music and politics was, was life. Because I had now visited Chile, I had made some important links that would help to bring the dream to life. I had met with Victor Hara's English widow, Joan, and she was happy to send a recorded message of goodwill from Santiago to the festival in Mahantla. Hello, everybody. This is Joan Hara, Victor's widow, speaking to you from the Victor Hara Foundation in Chile. I think it is some kind of human miracle that more than 30 years after his cruel death, Victor's name and example can still bring people together to work for a better world. Another highlight was the appearance of Gerardo Osal. I met with this Venezuelan troubadour during a march to the grave of Salvador Allende. He came over for the festival and was soon delighting locals and visitors alike with his magical music and larger-than-life character. He has returned to Mahantla three times. <laughs> Through the El Sueño events we became aware of the extent of solidarity of Wales towards Chile during the dark years of the Pinochet dictatorship and was soon in touch with singers such as David Ewan, who I discovered had written a song in Welsh about Victor Hara. He quickly became a strong supporter of the festival. The last festival in 2011 took his song, Against All Odds, Amorohid, as its theme.
David Ewan also translated one of Victor's songs into Welsh, A Howley View Mount Hev, The Right to Live in Peace, A Derecho de Vivir in Paz. And I sang it recently at a Chilean Peña with Helen Pendry and Hriain Beb on harp. <laughs> So far, there have been four festivals, each one focusing on a particular theme, but all of them based on what Victor would be singing about if he were alive today. We've celebrated some of the important events in Latin America and looked at the lessons for Wales. And slowly this regime is failing. And Many Latin Americans from communities in England also attended this unique mix of music, culture and politics. Some of them curious, if not surprised, as to how there could be a festival celebrating Victor Jara in rural Wales. Victor Jara! Presente! Hasta cuando? Hasta siempre! Viva el festival en Gale! Viva! But I think they came to realise that there are things in the history and culture of Wales and Latin America that resonate, such as the right of small countries to choose their own destiny and celebrate their culture rather than be oppressed by larger neighbours. My links with Chile have continued, not least with the annual Victor Jara festival in Chian, Victor's birthplace. Venemos de un pueblo se llama Mahantla, en en un parte muy montañosa de de Gales. At the 2008 Chian festival, I sang this song, composed by a friend, Paul Baker Hernandez, in Victor Jara's back garden many years ago. He now lives in Nicaragua but has performed at some of our events. In 2009, we played his song together here in Wales. Festivals have been nothing if not varied, with potent representations of dance, poetry, theatre and politics, such as Bolivian dancing, and even including scissor dancers from Peru. One wonderful example of how music and politics can be combined was provided by Luzmila Carpio in 2009. She is not only a singer, but is the Bolivian ambassador to France, and she gave a mesmerising talk, combining current Bolivian politics, birdsong and a Quechua lullaby. In 2011, a group called Ico Memoria added something to the dream. 
Eco Memoria plant trees in memory of people murdered during the Pinochet dictatorship. Maria Arriagada, presente. Maria Arriagada, presente. Murdered by a regime that thought that their victims would be forgotten. These two trees, planted during the 2011 festival, are now growing here in the heart of rural Wales, are proof that they are remembered. The most recent Swenyu event, in December 2012, was a Chilean Peña, in which Alejandro and Pablo Reyes played. Victor Jara had already, already joined us, but he not in time to be in the picture, unfortunately. Alejandro was a founder member of Cuncumen, Victor Jara's first band, and recorded with him in the late 50s. It was an honour to have him and his son present in Mahantla. Two thousand and thirteen is the fortieth anniversary of the Chilean coup. Victor and his family have still not received justice for his brutal murder. The dream of Victor Jara is a source of inspiration and a signpost for people in Latin America and beyond who are seeking a better world that Victor once dreamed about. mojada corriendo a la fábrica donde trabajaba Manuel tu sonrisa ancha la lluvia en el pelo no importaba nada